That was a good warm up. <laughs> He's gone. Hey, where'd he go? Hi there. I mean, what exactly is it you think we've been doing here? We have been fighting face to face, haven't we? An all-out battle till only one of us is left breathing. Damn, not again! Over here. To my fellow warrior, Ryuko Yanagi. It can't be. I have to deal with this damn gate now? Why now? True violence? Terror? What does he have in store for us? How am I supposed to fight like this? Your death may come at any moment. It's simply a matter of time. Kihei Mikoshiba, founder of self-defense style Aiki Jiu-Jitsu. You should not approach an opponent you cannot beat. Then this illusion is... What in the world? I'm Izo Matobi. Word is you're a pretty good martial artist. I may know a thing or two, sure. What about you? Got any skills? Two warriors alone in a park at night. Looks like jujitsu with some sword techniques mixed in, right? <laughs> I'm a master of many weapons! I hit you with a single attack once every ten seconds. Ten. Nine. Just stop hitting me, please! <laughs> the time you spend waiting for it to arrive, it is pure hell. <laughs> hey, get back here! How dare you, bastard! Oh, oh, ah! But you're still outmatched. Why do you think you've fallen so far behind? And by doing so, you've seriously restricted your abilities. You have a deadly skill. I'm talking about that vile right hand of yours. I've had to deal with one phantom obstacle after another. And I've no doubt he has some tricks up his sleeve. Yujiro! that all the legends and all the stories I've heard over the years. Are you willing to accept defeat or are we not quite done yet? <laughs> Don't say it, you fool. He'll kill you. Damn. He 
He's absolutely right. Huh? Why not let the victor and the vanquished decide? He's completely severed. But he hasn't lost until he can see. That's certainly how it looks to me. What do you say, Matobe? What took you so long, you old geezer? Mm. He didn't want to concede defeat, so I had to give him a little more convincing. Boasted to everyone about coming to Tokyo. Now it feels like this could drag on forever. <laughs> You've come here to take me in? A fugitive letting me capture him. <laughs> Driven by that overwhelming desire, they had converged on the land of the rising sun. Wait, you're done? Don't you want seconds? Sorry. This isn't like you at all. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe you're right. There's no question this substance would have a profound negative effect on the human body. Peptides, aconitine, adesine, scopolamine. And if this stuff ever got into your blood, you'd have serious issue. <laughs> Understood. Yes, it's Baki. Which hospital? Wait... Is he... Kozue? His condition is only going to get worse. <gasps> Excuse me, miss. I'm very sorry to have bothered you at a time like this. That's okay. <laughs> Don't stop. And never stop believing that it's going to work. It protects those you love. Don't you need it? Thanks, that's okay. I found that I actually don't anymore. I forgot all about that. Do you know where the Take building is? Sure, that's close. Come on, Dave, let's call it a day. No way in hell. Then how come I've never even heard of this guy, Dave? He's not your typical fighter. He's on a whole other level. So sorry I'm late, Dave. I got lost on the way. Dave's bowing down before him like he's a king or something. Never seen that before. That's not exactly regulation equipment. Even so, those are much more dangerous than my bare hands. He suffered several blows laced with lethal toxins, but that was the most deadly opponent he has ever faced. He's going to die. Fuck, he's really going to die. Dave's a veteran and a champion. This is much different than boxing. Welcome, young man. It's an honor to have a journalist of your caliber here. The journalist, sir. <laughs> ten years. I've waited ten years for this moment. Mr. Ali, what do these accomplishments mean to you now? I have a question for you. Uh... Sure. Baki, why are you out of the hospital? Have you lost your mind? Long time no see, eh, Mr. Ogre?
It's a little rough around the edges. Huh? Oh. Before the heavyweight champion of the entire world. Are you kidding? I'm nowhere near as good as you are. You fought the status quo for the sake of impoverished African Americans. You are hope. A shining beacon of hope for the powerless. I mean, I hate losing, you know? Every struggle you go through always seems so desperate. You were a gold medalist with speed and power that no one had ever seen before. To this day, you're still recognized as the strongest fighter ever. Even when you're facing an entire country, you don't back down. That's what makes you the greatest. To be the strongest living man in the entire world. I simply want the strength to fight the entire world. Please, I want you to meet my son. Reichi Ando, a fierce warrior who could kill a bear with nothing but his own two hands. Yeah, no, I've lost some weight. Yeah, take off your shirt. Your body fought back as best it could, and then? The doctors couldn't do anything. It'll take several days, though. You can go fishing to pass the time. <laughs> this is my boy. The fighting style that I was trying to hone and perfect it was a freestyle countering technique for punches, kicks, and grappling. But more often than not, I relied on stepping and swaying back. After the three and a half year gap in your career and development, the fighting style I tried to perfect ended up being little more than a dream. I fathered children just like you all over the world. <laughs> this is it. <sighs> I swore an oath in this place that I would never lose to anyone. a member of the race of mysterious apes that inhabited the Hida Mountains in ancient time. Fretsu, what are you doing here? You were gone a while. You can leave him to me now. Welcome, men. You already know the situation. The name Kaio Retsu counts for a lot in China. I appreciate you making all this happen. Thank you, Sensei. I wish I knew what was going on. I don't even know where they're taking him.
you're saying this boy is entering the Raitai tournament. And especially now, when this foul poison has left his body so withered. So you say. How about the monks here? The boy could fight any of them you choose to send. They say that you were defeated in Japan recently by a young boy. Oh, do you believe that? Oh, no way. Summon Chosan here at once. Oh, kids don't. Not Cho. But it's an obstacle you have to overcome. You must fight Cho. If Retsu thinks that I can still fight, then I believe I can still fight. The act of striking solid rock using only the hands and feet. Arena One. He arrived there just a moment ago. There will be no tournament for him. This ends here. Fight! That's its original Chinese name. It's very exclusive. This is how we bring him back to life. Having him fight now is the only way to save him. So when I tell you that Baki must fight if he seeks a true and lasting cure, there was once a mixed martial art known as Pancration. Historians over the years have offered a long list of plausible explanations. A battle between Pancration and Chinese martial arts can be traced back to an earlier fight. When word of Kaiori's defeat reached China, however, the Chinese obsession with the pursuit of all that is rooted in human nature, they reached the point where they could defeat the Roman fighters, came to be viewed with great loathing, and it was soon renamed the Dragon Road. The Romans may have ended it there. For deciding the true Kaio. Are you saying that Ryu is... To be called the Grand Kaio. Stop it, I know you're going to enter. Who am I? And how do you know? <laughs> no! Take me to Hong Kong. Sir! So that's it. You're sure my father will be there? For to do anything less would only bring dishonor to the name of Kaio. It will be like nothing else ever seen in Chinese martial arts. It's like a kung fu fighter. Someone just like you or me. That's an easy one to predict, Retsu, but you had me worried for a second. Yes. My master, forgive the interruption. But I gotta hand it to you guys. Even this late, you sure know how to turn out for a visitor. You are the spitting image of your father, the legendary boxing champion Muhammad Ali. We need you to show proof that you stand behind your words. I wish your father could have taken part in the Grand Raitai back in his day. I like the sound of the art of Ali. Hmm. <laughs> don't give up. Bucky, don't you give up. You have lived your whole life to fight your father. After 100 years, it's that time again! <laughs>